Well, cool, we can visit Pyre. Since I'm assuming she being the fan favorite is probably still in this game. Uh, is this another... So can I go up to the thin platforms? Yes. Interesting moment of cheating. Oh, these things, they write themselves, don't they? They, in fact, do not. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? So that's a pit. And if I do... I guess it would be easier to do this. Put the center of weight way back here. That way when I get on top when I get on this, the uh the weight will be in the back. So it should balance right here. Okay, maybe not right there, but it will balance. <laughs> Oh, you have to turn them on. Okay, what was it trying to teach me then? Because this was glued to this. Oh, I think I know what it was trying to teach me. So, like, I can climb this, right? Yeah. I recognize these because, uh, Copy Kitty has an enemy type that's based off of the same thing. And they're really annoying when you kick- when you kick them, they go flying forwards and they come right back at you and the re reco recoil will hit you and beat the crap out of you. Okay, so... Next, I think I want to use this one to fly over. Okay, and I'm guessing I'm trying to create a catapult here. Very simple catapult. Uh, that is not a good position. That's probably much better. was pretty excellent. That was a good one. I like that one. <laughs> okay, so what do I... Why do I want this? Could it be that now I want to... Why do I want this? So my thought is, is that I want to now... Use this as a catapult to launch myself.
which does mean I'm probably going to need to waste an arrow. Actually. I do probably want... Oh, wait, but if I do this... Okay, I have no idea if this is going to work, but I have an idea. And since I've already got everything from here anyway, I can just, I guess I can test it with this ball. Uh, which is... Okay, let's move this a little bit from the edge. <laughs> so it does that. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, is it just part of the object? Oh my god, I never noticed that. I always assumed that it was you had to hit one of the objects. Okay. Oh, well, I get to test this out now anyway. Which is, when you rewind something, does it have the same force? Does it apply forces to it? <laughs> sure does, but it's a little bit wonky. Alright. I mean, it would have, but it, 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 uh, because of how it bounced up, it bounced the ball, which completely ruined any momentum it could have had. If that fell perfectly straight down, it probably would have worked. Like, it clearly, the, clearly the physics of rewind interacts with non-rewinded objects. Which is what I wanted to know. Okay, well, we've reached Kakariko Village by accident, which is good, because there was a, um... A fairy fountain here. I don't know if there's still going to be, but the fact that there was is good at least. Let's say see if we can say hi to Paya. <laughs> you are not very hidden, <laughs> Mr. Korok. Alright, we can now probably get more weapon slots, which is good, because I want to have more weapons. So I, I, I really don't need that many more bows right now, because I don't have... I mean, I didn't have enough arrows. Now I have plenty of arrows, but I think I'm still going to want to wait till I have a lot more before I'm comfortable using them willy-nilly. That might be Pio over there, actually. Or they might be tourists. Who knows? Pio? You round? Uh, no, but we can read it. Read Paya's Diary of a Chief. One day, Grandmother said to me, You're grown up. You've grown up, Paya. It took me by surprise, so I simply nodded. She nodded back and said, It's settled. As of today, you are the chief. And so it was. Suddenly, I was the chief. <laughs> but what can I hope to achieve? Just like Grandmother, I do have uh, Dorian as my aide, for which I am grateful. Yet, for some reason, he seems troubled. Grandmother has become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concerns. I fear this is... 
uh, this chief's hat that grandmother has given me is too heavy for me to be bare. Literally, it hurts my head. I'm gonna blow my nose. I'll give, you, give me a second. There we go. It happened suddenly, without warning. I was so frightened by the impact. It was as though someone had taken hold of this world and given a violent shake. The air grew stagnant. Weapons decayed and ruins fell from a somber sky shrouded in dark clouds. How fortunate that none of the villages were injured. As of the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down upon the village, and a large opening in the ground has been spotted at East Hill. Even with everything that is happening, Grandmother said that she was going to set out on a journey with Kato. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted that such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed to wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. There were eleven peculiar symbols depicted in the books Grandmother was reading. Could they be somehow related to her sudden departure? I told Pura of Lookout Landing about our village's situation. She said the ring-shaped ruins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made arrangements with Zonai survey team at once. I returned home to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself, the same outside, but no spirit within. I could not hide my uncertainty, so she, she ate one of the stones, for sure. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and partially floating ruin, and then she left, just like that. She did not mention the village's awful condition or have any words of kindness for our villagers. Zonai's survey team has arrived at our village, and their leader, Taro, is ex is truly ex- Momotaro? Is truly incredible and has already found a clue in the quest to decipher the Zonai writing. I tended to leave the ruins that fell upon our village, the ring ruins. It seemed like the obvious choice. What do you mean? It's the giant stone donuts. The villagers have treated me with such warmth. They even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the ring ruins. Of their own volition, some of the villagers uh, volunteered to aid our research and others for patrol duty. It is humbling to behold. Dorian's sweet little daughter, Coco, even gifted, cr uh, crafted souvenir items called ring garlands. Before I knew it, our days of never having visitors had passed. Our quiet village, our my favorite ninja village that is a tourist spot. But before all else, we must learn more about the ring ruins. It is my responsibility as a chief to see that it is done. I intend to fill my duties as a chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. God is the chief that sits in her hall with quiet wisdom. It is what the village needed her then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that when she returns, I can greet my dear grandmother with a triumphant smile. So that must have been Paya that we saw, because she had the hat, I think. Alright, I'm assuming the clothing shop is still got the same stuff as always, but let's find out! Oh, Radiant Shirt. Oh, this is where we get the, the, the glowing suit. <laughs> it's so expensive. Oh my god, they're both so expensive. How the fuck am I going to get this much money? Huh? Oh, uh, welcome. Sorry, I must have drifted off. I'm so tired lately. Look, I know it won't help talk about, to talk about it, but I'm going to do it anyway. My grandmother's really sick. I'm running the shop while my little sister Leslie is looking after her. We're sort of getting by, but we're both so exhausted. Sorry about this, but we really need money for grandmother's treatment. I've had to hike up the prices and everything. So this is part of a side quest, and once I complete the side quest, this, the items will be a lot less expensive. It's just for now, though. As soon as Grandmother's healthy again, I can set our prices back to normal. Mm. I shouldn't bring my home situation to the shop with me. I just get it off my chest, but I probably have dubbed out the customer. J you're in luck. I'm the one customer that cares. So my first time stories allow me to welcome you to the Inch to Enchanted. Anyway, you can't get your hands on the CC brand fashion unless you go to the southeast of Hapno Village. But why go there when you can meet all your fashion needs right here? You can both out and... What do you, I want to sell C brand. Ah. C brand is a fashion phenomenon that's getting attention all over Hyrule. I can't believe such a hot brand came out of Hatno Village in Nakluta. I hope my sister can go there to study fashion, but it's our situation at home. Well, mm. I'm sick of the strange illness, and my little sister Leslie volunteered to take care of her. Mm. Leslie was supposed to be studying fashion in Southeast Hatno Village by now, but she loves grandmothers so much that she's put her dreams on hold. 
Sorry about this, but we need to, yeah. Uh, I do want to sell some rocks that I've got. Only 80? I swear this was more expensive than that originally. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta look around and see if we can figure out who that is that we need to help. <laughs> well, this house has seen better days. <laughs> Caleb's journal. Well, Taro and I were taking a break. He asked me, hey, Caleb, what atta attracted you to join the Zonai survey team? A little flustered, I answered that I heard it's a research division that was led by a brilliant man by the name of Taro. Because of you, essentially. I meant it sincerely, and in my heart, I longed to continue. You're not like these other dullards. You know. You immediately grasp our breadth and vision. The breadth of my vision. Of course, no such thing passed my lips. I'm certain that Taro, and no one else, is a man who can help the world see my in in indescribable worth. Our leader, Taro, has done nothing but surprise me since joining the Zonai survey team. One day, I arrived at the research site to find him sitting on bare earth as he stared at a stone slab. <laughs> I wished him a good morning, and to that, he turned to me and said, Ah, Callop, sorry, I didn't notice you. Working overtime today, huh? I thought back to the night before. As I was heading in, I saw Taro sitting... Bear Earth examining a stone slab. It hit me then. He had stayed up all night through, through the night, puzzling over the slab, but never moving from his perch. Found profound envy of his focus. I thought it was Taro that said that, but I guess it is Caleb. I must have... It would have been Caleb. His research duties to use his wisdom and intuition to bring light to historical truths, which the ruins would keep secret. We carry the work of our forebears and continue our pursuit tirelessly, then pass what we learn to those who come after. Our leader, Taro, understands well that it is not a task that can be completed in a single generation. He says this is why he wants to make so many discoveries, even if the credit to whom they belong is lost. That's the sort of man Taro is. But I, Dr. Callip, won't be so easily satisfied. My discoveries will be noteworthy, to be sure, but it is my name that I want to live on forever. Not just in people's memories, but in books, stone tablets, and if I might be, be a trifle immodest, landmarks. Callip Valley, Callip River, the Callip Hills, my dream recognizes no boundaries, Dr. Callip. <laughs> well, sure is a guy. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've discovered, especially this one. The way it, f it part of it floats up there. You have the foresight to focus on all these special ruins and invite the survey team to look take a look right away. Uh. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh, no, I, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal to. Hmm? Uh. Oh, is that you, Master Link? I'm so happy I get to see you again. Wouldn't surprise you if Breath of the Wild 3 had an mm -hmm. evil guy named Dr. Callip. It'd be an interesting way to have a Breath of the Wild 3 and have an antagonist that's not Ganon. Swear to God, new villains, please. I like them. Bring back Vol- uh, Vol- 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 Was it Valdi? The Minish guy. Anyway. I am overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She ordered us to stay far away from the ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess right before my eyes. 
she left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. Vati, thank you. I knew it started with a VA. Which is a shame, because he's not voice acted. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. The ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That is what Pai and I suspect, at least. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. It's impossible to misspeak if you don't speak. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. I invited him here to, the ring to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. He has an incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He is truly a an incredibly talented individual. Oh. To clear the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Aside from the texture, that each slab contained an interesting content, including the mention of stages. There's still so much we don't understand. Oh. I see them. They're behind. His, they're behind his hair. I think that perhaps the ruin floating on top of the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Oh, oh sages. My mistake. I can't investigate, as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. Oh. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda and the princess we met. If everything is alright, why won't she show herself? Mm. She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that rune alone. Spectrier, I'm afraid I'm not familiar. Blech, stuffy nose. Okay, well, if they're not gonna investigate it, I might as well. Alright, where, where are the other houses? We need to find the grandma. Oh, that explains why I don't know them. It's the kids. I can't visit Mommy's grave because the ring ruin is blocking the way, so I'll pray for Mommy from here. Only Mommy gets to hear about my secret base. This kid looks older than I remember. Kotla, it's time to pray for Mom to Mother. Mother, I'm sorry I didn't get to visit more often. I want to, but Princess Zelda said we mustn't go near the ring ruin closest to your grave. I don't know why. Paya, I mean the chief, doesn't know either. She says she's worried. Must be hard to be an adult, huh? Ooh. Who? Is that really you? Link? Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect you to see here, you to appear here in our village. Uh. And right now, too, while our chief is... The chief? Ooh. I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Imp, has retired. Oh, don't worry. I, heard, I, heard, I read all about it in Paya's diary. Now, Ch Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but... Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Aww. It's time to talk to Mother. <coughs> we'll all pray together. Oh. You're right. When we pray, we'll pray as a family. Oh, I'm so proud of the fine young woman you're growing up to be. This is the, this is the, oh, this is the, this is an inn now. I think this used to be the arrow shop. Hey. Welcome, friend. Was Island feeling happy? Then you've come to the right place. Pick any bed in this inn. It's yours for a paltry 10,000 rupees. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha I'm joking. You should have seen your look on your face. Whew, yeah, that doesn't work even here. I don't even work here. I stopped by hoping to catch some Z's when the owner up and asked me to keep an eye on the place. He, had, he said he had to go make sure the beds in the survey team tents that he'd and he that he'd be right back, but uh, I don't think he's coming back. 
I want to look for him, but there are four tent camps in the village and only one me. Could you maybe track down the owner and tell him to come back already? If you're only class across some sleepy guy spacing out, you found your man. Oh, so he's probably asleep. Slacking on the job, even. So this must be the arrow shop. They've got signs outside. I don't remember if they did in the originally. Arrow Kuda eyeballs. That's the new bats. <laughs> oh. Ma. Ah. Take them all. Arrows are important. Monster parts are a little bit less interesting because I can get those by fighting monsters. <laughs> this is the department store, which is out of stock. Hi. Hello, welcome. I'm sorry, the old fellows who stocked this place are busy driving off monsters. They've gone off to the ring ruin that's among the hills that lead west of our village. So, as you can see, we've almost run out of goods. Those two... They just don't get along. That's going to stand in the way of them taking care of that problem up there. <laughs> no, the signs. I can't go and check up on them, and the longer they're away, the more worried I get. Dear me, apologies for going on and on about my old worries. So what can I help you with? Stop by any time. So, like these signs are very clear. There's like a carrot sign on this one. There's a bottle sign on that one. This one's got a, a moon on it. If there were signs in the original, I feel like they're at least different from the signs that are there now. Where is the grandma? I request an audience with the grandma. Oh, is this, is this you? Aww. What to do? At this way, grandmother's health isn't going to... Ugh, and Clary's so busy, busy running the clothing shop. I'll just have to f do it myself. I'll find a cure for my grandmother. What's wrong? Aww. Are you a traveler? I guess it doesn't really matter who you are, so long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandmother. She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff, and now she's sick and bedridden. Porridge is about the only thing she can keep down right now. I've been trying to get to mix ingredients that could help with the glue. Oh, I've got one of those. At least I did. But none of them have any effect. I need to cook a porridge that will make my grandmother better. Oh, right, it needs to be porridge. Gloom? I don't really know anything about it myself, other than it, what it does to you when you touch it. My grandmother was cleaning up East Hill for the survey team when she first noticed the chasm. We uh, we know now that the chasm is a source of gloom, but she had no idea. When she tried to take a look, she got exposed. But there's an ingredient that counteracts gloom sickness somewhere out there, right? Porridge? Hey. It's my grandmother's favorite. Mix of Hylian rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. Okay, I'm going to open up uh, sticky notes. Make it green for Zelda. Uh, porridge. Hylian rice. Fresh milk. <laughs> I joked about that, but then I typed in milk. Wild greens. Wild greens. So that must be like herbs and stuff. Okay. 
Yeah. The man wants a glass of milk. Milk? Give him the milk, Josh. You might not normally think of those ingredients, but it's surprisingly... Wait, was that a typo? It's surprisingly good. I bought a bunch of Hylian rice and milk from the merchants to travel the road to the west, so I'm not hurting for those. But I still haven't found that crucial ingredient that fights off balloon sickness. All right. Type. More bones. Electricity, cold, high temperatures, tennis storm, swim speed, blind. Uh, I, I'm kind of curious what happens if you cook this. Max hearts, stamina limit, flowing effect, stamina storing, cool, you can restore half a heart, stealth, ring, increase the number of hearts, this increases your movement speed, stamina, heat resistance, cold resistance, Attack. I kind of regret having cooked a bunch of it. Okay, Sundalion. So let's take a look at this quest. So, so I might need to make a porridge. I'm not positive. I've got a lot of these Sunday lines, which is good because it sounds like I'm going to need to if we if we're, we're going to explore underground. Okay, yeah, no, I know I can't talk to you. Uh... Salt and fill recipe. What? No! I... That's lame. It's, just, it's supposed. There's supposed to be a link shattering. Kaboom! So I think I can get rice from here. Uh, I'm a, not as sure about milk though, which could be a problem. But it's worth a check. Is it not here? I remember seeing somewhere where I could buy rice. Shakalaka! I smell shit on you. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's okay. I'll just need five cars to do let the expansion begin. Expand the Bam Bam Weapon Stash! Shaka Shaka! Weapon Stash? Need eight next. Two for that. Guess I'll upgrade both of my others. I feel like this animation is so much better than the original. Like, it's so good!
I guess that maybe I should start marking traveling merchants in the map so that I can find them later. remember the last one having like explicitly stinging when this one definitely does and it's super cool yeah i thought i encountered a shop that sell that stuff i mean i don't really remember the song either which is why i don't think it was as good <laughs> traveling merchants Oh, maybe... maybe Beetle sells some of them? <laughs> I know I've seen rice. I don't know if I've seen milk. Rain! Beetle! Hey. hey there! Are you a fellow traveler on a journey of life? It's me, Beetle. If you forgot, my beetle-shaped pack right here to remind you. Wow! In this topsy-turvy world, there's only one direction to go. Forward, so when I travel, I go forward all the way. I can sell you bugs of highest quality, and if you need anything else on your journey, I can tell you that too. Charm rupees, don't worry, I'll buy anything you don't want when you're down. <laughs> and what better way to lighten up than to sell your rocks? Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. Well, what'll it be? What do you got? <laughs> Beetle, you're useless to me. I need rice. Wait. Ah. Huh. I thought it's a quest. But there you are. Not much of a wagon. Oh, a customer? Hi there, and welcome to the new Serene Stable. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use the stable, you can go up to the counter. What are you up to? <laughs> oh, get a load of this! <laughs> For a long, tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. But look at this butte. Mm. Oh, yes, clearly it's a fixer opera. Yeah, it's missing half of its wheels. No, Beetle was in every stable. I know, because I bought from him at every stable. But I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. <laughs> I just have to catch a wild horse to hook up the wagon to... No, good luck. <laughs> All right, well. Yeah, I was talking to Kane. Kane said he wasn't at every stable, but he very much was in every stable. Okay, well, if I want armor here, it looks like I'm gonna need to head to a new village. So I guess Hat knows our next wish list item on the list. <sighs> okay.
Okay, so the next thing to look at is whether or not we still got a uh, a great fairy. You know, if each of these talks about a sage, I wonder if this one's talking about Rauru. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's... Um, so I'm going to go with the Great Fairy is not here. Oh yeah, definitely not here. I guess it's climbing time. Yeah, that is a big hole. They didn't look that big from outside. <laughs> Yeah. I thought that looked suspicious. Anyway, anyway, I broke my weapon. Uh, what can I use on this? Moblin horn, maybe? I was wondering what the fuck was going on. <laughs> I guess the dragons go underground in this one. It's not exactly... Oh god! Why are you so close to the village? There's a couple big wheels over here. I had a seat if I had the option of a seat. <laughs> Guys, we're building a vehicle. <laughs> Not very well, apparently. Damn it, you stupid. <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> okay, we're building a tricycle, apparently. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I could have recalled that, couldn't I? <laughs> Unfortunately, Twitch chat is never quick. So how... 
is this, how is this gonna work? Oh, it's got an arrow on it too. I feel like this won't work, but I mean, might as well try. And if I'm lucky, I can make a tricycle. For starters, all the wheels are backwards. <laughs> I mean, it's not perfect, but at least it stabilizes it. Until we find that third wheel. Okay, I ruined it. I ruined it by dropping the first wheel. Where's that goddamn fourth? Fourth? Fuck. Hat no. Yeah, that car would really help. Can I see the wheel from here? I think it worked better with the third wheel back. Yeah, probably, but it was still dragging. Ah, uh, but you know what? It's probably better than nothing. <laughs> I might have a big wheel now that I think about it. God damn it, where did I leave my where did I leave this contraption? Oh, it uh despawned, it's fine. No harm done, I guess. All right.
The binary mobile. I mean, actually, maybe this would run them over. I'm not entirely sure how this interacts with Moblins. <laughs> okay, that's probably a good spot for us to head to next. If only I had a way to catch us on the way down, we could, I, could, I could go down hills no problem. I don't think I'm keeping this thing. <laughs> well, I meant to jump off, but then that happened. Hello, Karak. <laughs> is not the one we want to go to. I'm a little bit surprised that we don't have a tower symbol for our map, honestly. a little bit spookier than I was looking for. But yeah, Hatno is here somewhere. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's here. It's over here somewhere. So let's let's set up our blue marker that way. Are you it's a good thing I didn't fight those things. So Hatno will hopefully sell me rice and um, milk. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. Yeah, hello there, Blood Moon. I see I've done too much stuff for you to handle. That's good, though. That'll respawn some enemies I can use to get horn bits. Enemy camp, too. Look, I just want armor, man. I'm not looking for this. Stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Well, that happened. Um, anyway. <laughs> Probably a Yiga clansman. Oh god, it's raining, really? <laughs> hey, I couldn't help but notice that you were trying to climb this rock. Here's some rain. That could be a guy with a. Uh... Like, there's the potential for that not to be a Yiga clansman. Well, 
I have to say, this puzzle was fun the first time, but they all look kind of the same now. This is shorter, so I think I just want to use three of these. Oh yeah, no, I saw Tom Fox do that. That looks... That looks genuinely <laughs> infuriating. <laughs> Power to the people that like crowd control. I'm not- I'm not one of them. I do not like playing with crowd control on. on a hill. Okay. Because so, it's on a hill. Try to make something more stable then. I'm act I'm pleasantly surprised. This is the first one I've had to do something different with. Although I suspect the solution end solution is going to look somewhat similar every time. <laughs> oh god, the wood approaches! <laughs> Rice balls and the secret third. Th Ooh, a bomb flower. I'd like those.